Hi, and welcome to another episode, Adventures in Stoving. I'm Hike and Jim. Today's stove is an MSR reactor, and uh, if you look closely, might, you might notice that this is not the same stove I was testing with last week. This is a brand new stove. Tags are still on it. This stove, uh, I've been testing with it a little bit today, and it's much harder to get the simmer, but it can be done. I'll show you the trick. Uh, the stove I was using last week was just absolutely no problem to get to simmer. It was just easy. This one's a little hairier, or excuse me, hair trigger. What I'm going to do is just turn that on just barely. And then I'm going to strike it. And now I'm going to put my hot pot of hot water on. And I've already boiled this water, so it's very close to the temperature of boiling. Here's my cup of tea over there. So anyway, we want to see if it can be made to simmer. Let's take a look. Well, now, you'll notice that water is definitely steaming. In fact, if I hold it too close, it'll probably steam up the camera. Yeah, there a little bit. So that water is definitely steaming, but it is not boiling. So that stove can be made to simmer. The trick I found was to turn it all the way off, bring it back just a little bit on, if I tried to do it while it's on and bring it down to simmer, I, I kept shutting the, uh, the stove off. It was just easier for me to shut the stove all the way off and then bring it back a little bit, just, just a fraction of a turn on the knob, and then I could get it to simmer. Now, again, if I bring it down in there, yeah, a little steam, kind of steaming things up there, but definitely no boil. Now let's check. Did I turn it off or is it still on? I can feel a good amount of heat there. You can probably see it's a little bit red. And yeah, that guy is definitely on. Now, like I said, turning it to a simmer is hard for me on this particular stove. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it all the way off. And then just infinitesimally turn that guy on. my pot back on. And now we're back steaming away again, but no boil. So, anyway, with the stove, I guess in conclusion, with the stove I was using last week, it was really pretty easy to simmer. I could do it on the fly. This one's a little touchier, and it's really hard to do it while the stove is on. The trick with this one is to turn it all the way off, then bring the, the valve open just a fraction of a hair, and then strike it, and then you can usually get it to simmer. I've been able to repeatedly reproduce these results. So, uh, how's your MSR gonna, uh, reactor going to work? I, I can't say, but I have found the trick to simmering even one uh, on a stove that's pretty bulky like this one, because this one doesn't want to simmer. But it, you can see that it is, it's definitely steaming up things. And if I pull that guy off of there and turn that knob back, he's definitely on. So yeah, that's the trick. Turn it all the way off, bring the valve back just a fraction of a hair, strike the striker again, and you've got it in simmering mode. Okay, that's it for today. Thank you for watching another episode of Adventures in Stoving with Hike and